while the city is yet to go a buzz, 55 kilometers away from Kolkata, the team at Horinkata Meat Plant have already started their daily chores to keep their promise to bring the best on our platter. The promise of the best is to maintain utmost level of food safety and hygiene. Horinkata Meat therefore stands for Meat the ultimate meat. Horingata meat slaughters exotic types of pigs and different types of poultry birds, which is scientifically reared as store-fed animals in government or government-recognized farms. Strict anti-mortem and post-mortem examination and quality control procedures are deployed. Technology makes slaughter instantaneous to minimize pain. With the carcass hanging upturned and the major blood vessels cut, the blood in the carcass drains out. After slaughter, the scalding process follows to loosen the feather from skin. The feathering machines are specialized in removing feathers. Then comes the evisceration process, that is, removal of inedible viscera like intestine, lungs, spleen, gallbladder, etc. During the evisceration process, each item is inspected. Eat meat, not muscle, is what Horinkata meat promotes. To obtain the succulence of meat just after slaughter, the conversion of muscle to meat is done through a series of autocatalytic chemical reactions under controlled temperature and humidity. The Horinkata meat plant is an HACCP processing plant. Good manufacturing practices are internationally recommended guidelines followed in every step in Horinkata meat plant. Dressed whole carcasses are then cut into sizes and shapes as drumsticks, breasts, wings, hot wings, etc. Bones from body cage are also separated and boneless meat is obtained. Circulatory cleaning in place systems are adopted to achieve best of cleaning and sanitation results. mind the taste and convenience of household use. Horingata meat prepares several ready-to-cook and ready-to-eat meat products. No added preservatives, flavoring agent or other chemicals are used in Horingata meat products. Though highly nutritious and lip-smacking to all age groups, some facts like use of nitrites and nitrates and the fat content in processed meat are receiving fallacious publicity since last few decades. Meat industry responded to these challenges individually by formulation of customized food value like low fat, that is containing fat replacers low sodium, low cholesterol, low energy meat. Further, it was also revealed that nitrite and nitrates are not carcinogenic up to a level of 200 ppm. It rather imparts an anti-botulinal effect along with an attractive meat color. End of line systems perform the final operations to complete the packing process and reach the end customer. During transportation and storage, the challenge is to maintain proper refrigeration temperatures to inhibit spoilage and growth of pathogens. Keeping the meat at this prescribed temperature reduces the risk of microbial growth. Before reaching the consumers, each piece of Purinkata meat product is inspected for quality, wholesomeness, and food safety. Horingata meat products then reach near and far to several outlets 
all over Bengal. Surplus products are exported to the neighboring countries. Huringhata Meat has a wide range of products to choose from. Apart from pork, chicken, goat and lamb meat, Huringhata Meat has non-conventional dressed meat items like Japanese quail, turkey and Peking duck. Non-meat items include quail eggs, poultry eggs, mustard oil, ghee and honey. West Bengal Livestock Development Corporation runs a multi-cuisine restaurant chain under the brand name of Caviar. This corporation is the only CPC SEA registered government organization in West Bengal to supply laboratory animals to government or other organizations for research and training. West Bengal Livestock Development Corporation Limited is a government of West Bengal undertaking under the Animal Resources Development Department. By deeper penetration of Horinkata meat into the different marketing channels of the meat food industry, it goes a long way into its mission to increase the daily dietary protein intake of the malnourished population. Building up the sustainable livelihood framework by encouraging entrepreneurship, implementation of centrally and state government sponsored schemes and other methods of employment generation has been a constant endeavor of West Bengal Livestock Development Corporation Limited. Being a very successful government venture, West Bengal Livestock Development Corporation Limited shoulders the responsibility of taking ahead the vision of the West Bengal government to be a pioneer in the meat food industry.